Welcome back to the First Chapter Book Club. This week, we'll be reading Res Dogs by Joseph Bruchik. Chapter 1. Malsum. When Malian woke up and looked out her window, the dog was there, just as she had dreamed it would be. It was lying in the driveway, halfway between their small house and the road. It wasn't sleeping. Its head was up, its ears erect, its paws in front of it, as if on guard. As Millian watched, the dog turned its head to look right at her, as if it knew her, as if it had known her for a long, long time. Malsum, she said, Kwai Kwai Nidoba, hello, hello, my friend. The big dog nodded and then turned back to continue watching the road. Malsum, that was the old name for a wolf was a good one for that dog. It was as big as a wolf. It looked like the videos of wolves she'd watched on her phone. The only things different about it were the white spots over each of its eyes. Four-eyed dog, a soft voice said from back over her shoulder. It was Grandma Frances. Malia had not heard her come up behind. She was used to that. Both her grandparents could walk so softly that she never knew they were there until they spoke. Grandma Frances would tease her about it. Be careful, granddaughter. You don't want to let no Indian sneak up on you. Grandma Frances had put her hand on Malian's shoulder. Looks to me like he thinks he belongs here, she said. Then she chuckled. Or maybe like he thinks he owns the place. Would that be okay? Malian asked. Grandma Frances chuckled again. It seems to me it's not up to us. When a dog like that just appears and chooses you, it's not your decision. Can I go outside and see what he does? Malian said. Let's ask your grandpa. Roy, get in here. But Grandpa Roy was already there. I've been listening to every word. Seems to me if you step outside and then move real slow whilst you watch what he does, you'll be okay. But just in case, I'll be right behind you. Lillian shook her head. Remember what they said? You and Grandma should not go outside. It's too dangerous. You might get the virus. That's why I can't go home to Mom and Dad. And we're gold darn lucky you're here with us. Grandpa Roy said. That old saying about how we don't know what we do without you sure makes sense these days. So I'll stay inside, but you stay in too. Just open the door and we'll see what he does. Millian cracked open the door. The dog stood up and turned her way. He opened his mouth, let his tongue hang out, and what she knew had to be a smile. She held out her wrist. Malsum, she called, her voice soft but sure. The big dog walked over and sniffed her hand. Malsum, she said again, dropping down to one knee as she placed her hand on his broad head. The dog looked at her, straight into her eyes. As he held her gaze, he seemed to Malian that she could see intelligence and even a hint of humor and a kind of certainty. Malsum nodded his head as if to say, yes, that can be my name. I am here for you. Then he licked her fingers before turning around and going back, heavy muscles rippling beneath his skin to drop himself down where he had been. Guess he is guarding us for sure, Grandpa Roy said. Looks like you've got a new friend. Again, thank you so much for joining us for this first chapter book club. That was the first chapter of Res Dogs by Joseph Bruchuk. If you're interested in this book and would like to read it for yourself, feel free to check it out from either branch of the Washington County Public Library. Happy reading!